everybody, how's it going? I saw a, a while back a video um, that one of my favorite YouTubers, um, I love to watch, Liam Mouse made about it's a 5 or 10 years video. And I kind of wanted to do it. She kind of tagged people that she knew, but anybody else who wanted to do it. So I decided, eh, I'll do it. Um, now, before I start, I'm going to tag a few people as well. I'm going to tag Got That Funk. XXX the Peach XX, Peace Love and Vape PLV, uh, Ragged Doll if she does any videos, and Nitrobax who is another YouTuber that I love to watch. Okay, so I think I'm going to go into uh, the 10 years mode, but you can also do five years. Okay, first question: How old were you? Um, I have to say maybe about that time I was like in my late 20s, probably 27, 28 ish. Um, any romantic interest at the time? No, this was a time when I got a little bit more active, uh, with social media when AOL was the thing, when MySpace was the thing. So I had more like online interest types people that were just more like flings than anything, but it never went anywhere. In real life. Um, where did I live at the time? I actually lived um, in the Down River area, which is specifically Lincoln Park which, um, in Michigan. It's kind of like for a lot of people, it's sort of like the no man's land area, if you will. Uh, what music did you like? Um, at the time, it was two years after I came back from my time in South Korea where I got really burnt out. Um, so I would have to say I was still into the K-pop thing, but then that's when I also, this was around the time I also discovered the goth culture a little bit myself, so, um, I kind of got into some of that music too. Um, what did I do as far as work and education? Um, around this time, actually, I was, I, be, I was actually in the throes and working on my master's degree in Korean studies. Um, I wasn't working at the time, or no, wait a minute, I think I did do a little work, I think at the time it was like a part-time tutoring thing that I did for some time, um, and I would go, I would also meet with people to, to teach them, and then later on, a couple of years later, I got some Korean tutoring as well. What made me the happiest at that time? Um, well, you know, that's kind of hard, I think just, uh, being connect, being connected with people, um, I had some neighbors who I hung out with, and we did some, we did this nightly thing, um, which is called the, which, which I'll mention in a little bit, but it was a nightly thing that we did, where we hung out every evening, and just, you know, we're kind of like the neighborhood people, so I did a lot of that type of stuff. Um, I think also at the time, I was happy that I was studying, and I picked up, you know, going back to school again. What annoyed you the most? Oh, gosh, what? did annoy me the most um I don't know what really annoyed me at the time I think because I was just getting involved and I was like a noob into the whole online chatting thing I think it was the fact that oh if you're the only girl in the world guess what all the guys want you because they were hornball type of thing um who is my best friend well at the time and she still kind of is we just haven't seen each other enough and we should um her name is Melissa um, I still keep, I keep in touch with her on Facebook, really nice, cool person, um, she, she lived right next door to me, so her, her brother and myself would hang out, we had our little group called the Porch Posse, and several other neighbors across the street would also hang out with us, and had a really good time, lots of great memories that I'll never forget. Did I have any regrets back then? You know, probably one of my regrets back then was probably not pursuing, um, or at least from 10 years ago, probably not pursuing going into, um, I would have to say going, going into looking into maybe teaching in Taiwan. Um, cause that's something I've, I, I, if I have a chance to, and when I do, I'd like to live in Taiwan for several years cause I have a lot of friends there. Um, I, the country's beautiful. I'd like to go visit it and yeah, that would be, that would definitely be something. Uh, popular thing from 10 from that time period, that 10 years ago, um, I would say goth, I would definitely would say, if you're talking online, it would be goth culture, for sure, um, 
In fact, I think that's when people just started talking about it more. It's sort of like what they talk about with vaping or any other subculture that just sort of shows up out of nowhere and becomes a multi-million dollar uh, industry. Uh, where did I see myself in 10 years or so? You know, I don't know. I think at the time I saw myself as maybe looking to become a professor, um, you know, in a university somewhere or some kind of writer or lecturer. But I don't really put stock into that because, you know, anytime I've made a plan, it doesn't quite come out the way I want it to or it kind of fails. So, yeah, so I don't really, I, I make plans, but I always have a plan B backup. Um, if you were to give yourself advice then, what would you say? I'd probably tell myself to... Do some backgrounds and get to know the guys first that you chatted with before getting involved in cyber sex and all the other fun stuff that goes with it. Because I discovered that a lot of the guys that I had the intimate chat with, they were already connected to a girlfriend or had some kind of connection. But because I was lonely at the time and, you know, I didn't have a real life boyfriend, that just seemed to be like another outlet, if you will, quote unquote. So that's, I'd probably say, learn to have fun and be with yourself and your friends. Um, how did you see the world back then? I think I was so much in the throes of my studies at that time. I just saw the world as, hey, this is what it is. You know, live with it, go through the motions. It's, you know, another chapter closed. I'm in the process of working on another chapter and I... Basically, just had to study hard and do well with my work. So, how are you different now, or how have how have things changed since ten years ago, or even five years ago, as a matter of fact? Um, I think for me, I've definitely have grown up a lot. I had, do have a boyfriend that I've been with for quite a few years now, um, who I happen to meet online. Um, I never thought I'd get into online podcasting. And doing things via blog TV or via, you know, what I do now with uh, VapeNet now, pretty soon going into Vape TV Live. Um, I think I've learned a lot about life. Um, I've grown up a lot, quite a bit, due to some recent events, especially within this year. Um, I've learned probably not to take things with a grain of salt too much. And that the people in your life, if they're meant to be there, they'll stick by you no matter what. Otherwise, you know, if they're not going to give a shit about you, why should you give a shit about them? Um, I think, oh, oh gosh, I'm involved with so many things I never thought I would be. Um, I'm involved. It's funny because around that time, I actually just started getting more involved with BPW at, like, the beginner level. And... Um, I never thought I'd be in as a part of the executive committee. I never thought I'd be a secretary. I never thought there were possibilities of me actually going higher up, in, in, you know, in the chain, if you will. Um, because I was kind of intimidated by everything at the time, and I think, you know, it's kind of the opposite. It's, it's really weird. Um, I've also learned to take I, – I've taken care a lot of myself a lot more, especially health-wise. Um, taking care of, like, like for example, I ha I've had a lot of dental work I've had to get done. Yes, it costs a lot, and I'm paying off the medical bills, but it's worth it because they always say teeth are the first things people look at uh, as far as in regards to your health. So I've been in the process of doing that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. And I'm also happy with the job that I have now being, being the uh, online work that I do. Um, I really... I, I'm so grateful that I had connections to find it. Um, you know, utilizing the connections, that's definitely the way to go. Um, sometimes it's worked, sometimes it hasn't, but eh, whatever. So anyways, those are my those are my thoughts and my answers to my questions. Those of you that I tagged, I look forward to hearing from you. And if there's anybody else who'd like to do a video response or make a video like this, feel free to. It'd be interesting to hear what you have to say. So until next time, bye.